Okay, let's start. Hi, everybody. We are going to do a simple experiment on floating magnets using four ring magnets and a magnetic pole. Now, each ring magnet has two poles, one on each side, as you can see, coded by the different colors. The red side is a north pole and the, the reverse blue side is a south pole. This magnetic pole also has a, a magnet at its base. Now, we shall put one of the ring magnets into the magnetic pole and see the interaction. Now, the blue end, which is a south pole, is, seems to be floating. But the red side, the north pole, is attracted to the base of the magnetic pole, which shows that the side here, the end here, of the magnetic pole is a south pole. A south pole attracts a north pole to it, but it repels a south pole, causing, oh, cause, causing the ring magnet to float. So here, a ring magnet is floating above the base of the pole because the two like poles of the magnets are facing each other, causing them to repel. So in order to put a second ring magnet into the magnetic pole to keep it afloat, I should face, use the north pole of the next ring magnet to face the north pole of the one which is floating. Ah, here, they are floating. If I were to use the south pole, okay. The next ring magnet should have a south pole facing the south pole. Uh, and they continue to float. If I were to reverse this ring magnet over, with the north pole facing the south, well, they will, uh, they will try each other, right? However, I want all of them to be floating, so let me remove it. Turn it around, south pole facing south pole, okay? Happily bouncing and repelling. Well, shall we have this? Repelling or attracting the uh, my next here, I think we want them to repel. Okay, that means I should put the north pole facing the north pole, and here we go. You see, beautifully <laughs> repelling and floating. This goes to show that when light poles of magnets are facing each other, they repel. But what happens when the unlike poles are facing each other? So let's do another experiment, a very simple one. I shall remove everything from the magnetic pole. Uh, in order for the uh, magnet to, to be attracted to the base, I should put the north pole facing down. Okay, here it goes. We do not want them to be floating, but we want them to be attracted. So, well, north pole facing the south pole. And north pole facing the south again, north facing south. Oops, it's a bit too loud. Right. So the magnets are now attracted to one another because the unlike poles face each other, causing them to attract. And this is the way to stow away the entire setup so that the magnet can last as long as possible. Okay, that's the end. Bye.